Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be um, doing part 6 of the Quarter of Health tutorial series. And sorry um, about my voice, I'm kind of losing it right now. So uh, yeah. So basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be um, adding the wins. There's also going to be a part 2 of this, uh, this one uh, topic because... Uh, basically, today we're just going to be making the wins, um, uh, the wind stuff. Then in the next one, we're going to make the wins leaderboard. And sorry for not uploading for so long. Uh, and yeah, so let's get right into this. So the first thing that we're gonna need, gonna do is just to make this a little bit more neat. I'm gonna add a folder into Service Script Service. And I'm just gonna name it. Um, hmm. I actually don't know. I guess. Hmm, wins. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to add in a script, and I guess I could call it, like, make stats, because in this script, we're going to make the stats. So, yeah, let's get right into this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to say game.players, and then we're going to say, um, uh, dot player added connect func oops, function. And we need to get the player, so PLR, and then we're um, also going. And then we're going to need to do um, local leader stats is equal to um, uh, instance dot new. Uh, oops, folder. We're just going to be making a new folder, which is going to be put inside of our player, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to say leader stats dot name is equal to, and I'm going to set it to values because that just makes it a little easier for me to remember. And also you can't set it to leader stats because, well, you can if you want it to show up um, next to the player's name, but in um, quarter of hell, it does not show up next to the player's name. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to put it to values. Then I'm going to set leader stats dot parent equal to PLR, and then we're going to um, make the wins. So local wins is equal to instance dot new, and then we're going to make a number value. So basically, just make this just makes it a number, not an integer, because sometimes integers have a little bit of a glitch to them. So. Just to be safe, I'm going to make it a number value. Then all we're going to do is just name it wins. So, um, wins.name is equal to um, wins. Also, we need to uh, put a comma right there and just do um, uh, leader stats. So, yeah. Oh, also, um, if you don't want to have to use this, then you can just, wait, no, no, this. You can get rid of this, yeah. And then uh, we can just do PLR, so yeah. That just makes it a little bit easier, but yeah. So now we're going to make a new um, a new script in here. And let's just set it, make it set stats, because basically this is just going to, like, save the stats and, yeah. And, like, set it every time the player joins, so... Um, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is get the, um, uh, data store. So, local DS is equal to, oops, game get service, um, uh, data, uh, data store service, and we're going to get, oops, get, um, data store, and then, uh, Name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it save, save Data, because actually, I'm, yeah, Save Data is fine. Um, it doesn't matter what you name it, um, it can be anything, so yeah. And now what we're going to need to do is we're going to say added connect function, uh, function, and we're going to again get the player, and... We're going to say, we're, we're first going to have to add a weight just to make sure that everything is loaded. 
And then we're going to get the key. So local key is equal to, and uh, for this one, we're just going to put it to um, the player's ID. So plr.user ID. Um, that's just going to tie in for the wins leaderboard. I mean, you can do something else with it, but um, it'll be a lot easier if you just um, set it to the player's user ID. And um, now we're going to say uh, local wins is equal to, and we're going to set it equal to plr.values.win. And um, also why we added the wait is because um, we need to wait for the make stats to make the stats because this should make it instantly, but this also runs instantly, so it might cl it might um, uh, make break everything. So we just want to add a wait just to make sure. So then it's um, totally gonna work. So yeah. Then we're gonna say local um, uh, oh yeah get saved. So local get saved, and we're gonna set that equal to ds um and then get async get async and we're going to get async the oops oh i accidentally closed it okay um we're going to get async key so basically we're just um getting we're just uh giving it the key so yeah and um then if get saved then what we're going to do is um we're going to set wins wins equal to um get saved one so wins dot value is equal to get saved and then we're going to do one oops and then what we're going to do is we're going to say else so else if it d doesn't work then we're going to say Local num uh num for save um also num for save and we're gonna set that equal to um wins dot value so wins dot value then what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna say d uh, ds get a sync. Then we're going to get a sync, the key and number for saving. So, key num uh, num for save. And that sh should be close to it for this um, script. So the last thing that we're going to need to do is say game dot players dot player removing connect function plr and we're going to say ds set async and we're going to set async um uh plr so plr dot user id and we're going to also um put in the player values um the players went so yeah so we're gonna say colon. Uh, we're gonna um, do comma and then put it in curly brackets. Plr dot values dot wins dot value. And that's basically just getting the wins. And yeah. And now what we're gonna do is um, to make this work, we need to go into game settings. You guys won't be able to see this. So I'm sorry about that, but um, you're gonna click game settings. You're going to go into, um, uh, I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah. Wait, no. Oh, yeah. You're going to go into security on the, um, uh, left side of your screen. And you're going to click allow HTTPS correct, uh, um, request. You're going to turn that on and enable studio access to API services. So turn both of those on and save. That just basically allows you to save um, the, um, like, use data store services. And the last thing that we're going to need to do is basically just make so 
the end actually um does what it needs to do. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go uh, click on the end, and then we're going to go inside of it and click it on its script. And oops, what's this? What? Huh. What the heck? It already added it. Um. Huh. <laughs> um. That is weird. But I mean, this is what you need to do. You just need to do plr.leaderstats.wins.value. Oh, also, it didn't do correctly. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> it does it for me, but it does it incorrectly. That's great. So basically, you need to do uh, player.values.wins.value um, equals uh, plr.values.wins.value plus one. And you can't do plus equals. Um, I don't really know the reason for that, but it gives you an error if you do that, so just do it like this. Just for and then just for testing purposes, I'm going to say print, and then we're just going to print this. Because we need to see if it works. So basically, then we're going to do go and, uh, click on file in the top left, I think. Yeah, I think it's top left. Or no, top right. Yeah, I don't know. But, um... You, then you're going to go down and click publish to Roblox and then it should uh, pop up down here and then just exile studio it will go uh, black for me uh, just hang tight um, then I'll switch to the Roblox view so that you can see sorry for going black um, that's just how it works right now oh also um, that is uh, my I was working on my um uh uncopy lock version. So that was my uncopy lock version. I'm going to switch to Roblox now. Uh there we go. Okay. Also, do you like my new avatar? I think it's pretty cool. But yeah. So yeah. Basically, um how we're going to see uh the print is we're just going to click um uh F9 and go to server. Hopefully you can see that, do you? Yeah, you do, okay. Okay, then basically we're just going to run over to the end. Run to the end. Okay, I have one. Wait. Okay. I think now you can hear my um, game volume. What? Okay, that's just weird. Um, okay, so I might have to fix something. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly open that back up. Because I did not notice that glitch. Okay. So I think I know what happened. I think I, think I do, yeah. I should. Yeah, I, I think I know how to fix it. Okay, so basically all we're going to do is just um, take all this, um, control exit, basically just copies and um, deletes, and just uh, control V it after PLR load character. So that makes it so you can't do it two times. And then just publish it to Roblox, and then I'll switch back to um, Roblox view once I join it. Okay. So yeah. So now let's see. F9. And if um it did work, it should it should automatically go to four when I do it, because that would mean that um uh the saving did work. So oh, what the heck? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Um, oh, jeez. Why is it? Why did it load me so much? What the heck? 
Are you serious with clutch? No, it's just clutch. It looks like... What? Well, it should work, guys. Tell me down in the comment section below if it doesn't work for you. I roll up to it's glitching right now. Like, literally, sometimes my avatar is not... Uh, my after animation isn't even loading, so... I think my roll up is just glitching, because when I tried this out, it did work, so... It should work for you. So basically, um... Yeah. That should be it for this video, and... Um... Please do like and subscribe if, um, if this helped you, uh, and yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.